us out there feeling a little tender this Shabbat. Shabbat Shalom and welcome. We're coming to you from our beautiful sanctuary. I am Rabbi Javier Carapan and I am joined by our musicians and our technical team. If you are joining us on Facebook Live, links to the prayer pages and other information will be posted in the comments section. If you're watching us on our virtual sanctuary, the link to the PDF is above the player and all other links are in your e-news. Thank you to our digital docents for managing our streaming. If you're watching us on Facebook Live, uh, we invite you to say hi by typing Shabbat Shalom in the comments line. Don't forget to enter, to click enter. Uh, if you have feedback about our service this evening, we suggest that you take some notes and send us an email next week with your comments. Thank you in advance for that. If you have any technical difficulties and need assistance, uh, please text CBT's technical assistance line, TAL, at 913-303-1133. Text the number and a dozen will call you back as soon as they can. In his famous book, The Sabbath, Abraham Joshua Heschel writes, the seventh day is the armistice in man's cruel struggle for existence, a truce in all conflicts, personal and social, peace between man and man, woman and nature, peace within human beings. The seventh day is the exodus from tension, the liberation of man from his own muddiness, the installation of man as a sovereign in the world of time. And on this Shabbat, we invite you to let the world outside remain outside. I will not ask you to go vote or to be politically engaged during this Shabbat. In order for each one of us to face next week, we all need a moment of respite a time to regenerate. 
while you are joining us for this service, we invite you to turn off all your news feeds, all your social media distractions. We pray that this time together will help us center and ground ourselves so that we can face the challenges ahead. Heschel teaches in the tempestuous ocean of time and toil. There are islands of stillness where man can enter a harbor and reclaim his dignity. The island is the seventh day, the Sabbath, a day of detachment from things, instruments, and practical affairs, as well as of attachment of the spirit. During these uncertain times, we now invite you to join us as we together find our own new land, our own island in time. And on this island, we will breathe. We will breathe in the fresh air, the clean air, and breathe out all the stress that inundates our minds. On this Shabbat, we will concentrate on our prayers in a different way. We will use chants, singing, reading, and guided meditation to help us disconnect from all the negativity and anxiety present in our world so we can reconnect with the passage of time so that we can reach a serene peace inside. If you are at home and have candles ready, we invite you to light the candles. And in just a moment, we'll take a deep breath and recite the blessing as we welcome Shabbat. The blessings are on page 120. Not one of us, but together we bring light into the world. Baruch Atarnai, Eloheinu Melech, Aulam, Asher Kirshanu, Bemitzvotav, Vetzivanu, Shall Shabbat. On page 140, we will join together in singing words from Psalm 92. Mizmor Shir La Yom HaShabbat, a psalm, a song for Shabbat. We have uh, some of the words are in the Hebrew above, and then there are additional words in a square, in a box. Uh, so please take a look at both as we sing together. Oh 
As we mentioned at the beginning, trying to create a different space on this Shabbat, so we have a different Lechado Di um, today. It's a different translation. It's a different melody. Uh, I think you'll be able to join us uh, very quickly. It's a very... Uh, uh, the refrain is very simple, and um, we'll do it several times, and I'm sure you will pick it up very quickly. <laughs> Let us go out to greet the Sabbath, for she is the source of blessing from the very beginning spread above us, the last thing created at the first conceived. Awake, awake, your light is coming. Rise and share your light. Arise, arise, sing the song. Shekhinah's radiance is revealed in you. <laughs> be embarrassed or ashamed. Why are you saddened? Why do you sigh? You are a shelter for the poor of my people, and Jerusalem will be revealed on its hill. <laughs> Come in peace, crown of Shekhinah, in joy and rejoicing among the faithful of those held dear. Come, bride, come, bride. <laughs> Continue together on page 147. There is one who sings the song of his own life, finding everything within himself. There is one who leaves the circle of herself and sings the song of her people. There is one whose voice rings with the song of humanity, hoping for the highest perfection. And there is one who rises even higher, uniting with all creatures, with all worlds, filling the universe with song. Nevarech, let us bless. Okay. One of our slightly different moments. I don't know about the rest of you, but when I get stressed out, I hold my breath. That's one of the things that I do. I, I hold my breath and I clench my throat. 
And possibly because one of my reactions, I don't know that anybody knows this, but one of my emotional reactions to fear or anger or stress is to cry. I'm a crier, but that tends to freak people out. So I spend a lot of my time clenching my throat and holding my breath. So we're going to do a little bit of breath and voice meditation, okay? So I'm going to, we're going to do like our call and response songs where I will model and you will follow me. So we're going to take a breath and go, shh. Now you, excellent. Mm. Good. Ah. Breathe in. Continue together on the next page. Here, O Israel, the divine abounds everywhere and dwells in everything. The many are one. Loving life and its mysterious source with all our heart, with all our spirit, all our senses and strength, we take upon ourselves and into ourselves these promises to care for the earth and those who live upon it to pursue justice and peace, to love kindness and compassion. We will teach this to our children throughout the passage of the day as we dwell in our homes and as we go on our journeys from this time, from the time we rise until we fall asleep. We continue on the next page. When justice burns within us with like a flaming fire, when love evokes willing sacrifice from us, when to the last full measure of self-devotion we demonstrate our belief in the ultimate triumph of truth and righteousness, then your goodness enters our lives and we can begin to change the world. And then you live in our hearts and we through righteousness, behold your presence. Page 159. Sing the song of men and women, join in understanding and respect. The song of God's miracles, an earth protected and cherished, a gift for our children and the generations to come. The song of a land once ravished by war, now quiet and content her soldiers home to leave no more, the song of a world redeemed, the song of peace.
silence of the night and eternity utters a day and eternity utters a day Beginning on page 164, we invite you to take this time to create your own island of time at home with your loved ones or whoever you are walking around, perhaps, maybe enjoying the evening. You can look at the words in our Sidur through page 180, or perhaps take this time on this special Shabbat, take a moment of silence and just listen to the sounds of your house, the sounds of your loved ones around you. This time, make it your own. Adonai svatai Shalom, 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 Shalom,
Um, for us to offer a prayer for healing, you may access the Misha Berach list through the e news that you received this morning. You can also follow the link in uh, the comments. If you would like to offer names, please type them in the comments so we can all see them. Please go ahead and type uh, the names. <laughs> think of those in need of healing we also offer a prayer for those who help in healing first responders and health workers all over the world may those who care for the sick with their hands their voices and their hearts be blessed with courage and stamina may those who pursue healing through medical skills and knowledge be blessed with insight patience and compassion May all of us, the sick and the well together, find courage and hope. And together let us say, Amen. <laughs> Refuat, adu, refuat. 
our Simcha moment will be different on this Shabbat too. It will be a moment of gratitude for quality time spent with loved ones and friends. And we go back to Abraham Joshua Heschel and his book, The Sabbath, where he teaches, Judaism is a religion of time aiming at the sanctification of time. And like the space-minded man to whom time is unvaried, iterative, homogeneous, to whom all hours are alike, quality less, empty shells. The Bible senses the diversified character of time. There are no two hours alike. Every hour is unique, and the only one given at that moment, exclusive and endlessly precious. So now we invite you to share a special precious moment from this past weeks or days a precious island of time that you share with family and friends. Perhaps you can find a word, a short phrase that will say it all. Type them in the comments line and then press enter. So mine, if I had a way to type it, <laughs> will be fall foliage. Mine is fall weather, temperatures. Fall weather, mm -hmm. yeah. Howard said it's going to be 60 degrees tomorrow. We will wait together as you type. Divine source of blessings, we thank you for everything that enriches our lives. Baruch Ata Adonai, Eloheinu Melech HaOlam, Hagomel Lechayavim Tovim, Shegemalanu Kol Tov. Many thanks to you, bountiful one, Adonai, our God, sovereign of the universe, who in your inscrutable way watches over the worthy and the wayward for having graciously done us abundant kindness by shielding us from great harm. May we be blessed with the strength to overcome sickness and sorrow and with much health and happiness now as always. As I mentioned at the very beginning, if you weren't here at the very beginning, this is a different kind of service. This is a service with more readings, with more silence, with more time to breathe, more time for us to try to create an island of time on this Shabbat, the next 
24 hours and it doesn't have to begin start, stop today tomorrow you know you can find a different way of spending your Saturday if you would like to would like to invite you to do that absolutely in uh, this week's Torah portion the theme of divine protection seems to play a really important role especially in the life of Abraham as we read in Parashat Lech Lecha God commands Abraham to leave his homeland, everything that is familiar to him, and to go to the land that God will show him. Probably not the most reassuring situation. <laughs> Abraham and Sarah are to embark on a journey that will take them from Canaan to Egypt and back to Canaan. Throughout the Torah portion, we get a sense that Abraham feels very insecure about his journey to the point that he may even lose his faith, that there is indeed a future for him and his family. As time goes by, Abraham worries about what the future may bring and expresses his anxiety to God. Abraham and Sarah had trusted God and God's protection, but now, advancing age, they find themselves without any children, without any descendants. So what does it really mean to them to be sheltered under the divine wings? In an enigmatic episode found in chapter 15 of the book of Genesis, God promises Abraham that his descendants will be as numerous as the stars in the sky. We read in the Torah, sometime later the word of Adonai came to Abram in a vision and God said, Al tira Avraham anochi magen lach zecharcha harbe meod. Fear not, Abraham. I am a shield to you. Your reward shall be very great. This, it seems, it's an expression of divine protection and a promise that Abraham will find a place to rest and restore his soul away from the daily constraints of his life. And a few verses down, we read, And because he put his trust in Adonai, God reckoned it to his merits. Some also render this phrase, And he believed in Adonai, and Adonai counted it to him for righteousness. The word that we're trying to translate is the word tzedakah, which means both righteousness and justice and charity. Some of the commentators wonder if this is the first time that Abraham had trusted in God. After all, it does not take, um, it would take quite some trust to just leave everything behind and put one's trust in God. In the Etz Chaim commentary, we find an interpretation by the Hasidic Rebbe Moshe of Kobrin, who teaches, quote, Abraham felt that God had done him a favor, an act of tzedakah, by giving him the capacity to have faith, even when circumstances seemed bleak. So true. Isn't it a sense of a restored faith in the future, what divine protection really means? When we pray for divine protection, we're not thinking about the past. The past is done. It is now a memory. Finding divine protection is finding a place in time when we can leave the worries of everyday life behind and dwell in an island of time where we put our trust in God. Elohe Hazman, the God of time. And in the evening prayers in Ma'ariv, we offer special prayer, Hashkivenu, may we lie down, a praying, asking for protection, because nightfall brings with it more anxiety as we fall asleep and hope that we will wake up. We pray for having more time to live in this world and for the capacity to have faith that tomorrow will be better than yesterday, that in time, the future will bring us into safety and contentment. All right.
we're going to do something just a little bit different this evening, as we've been saying, and we're going to do a little bit of a meditation. Now, don't, don't freak out at the word. I went on to thesaurus.com, and there's just not a better one. So basically, we're going to take a moment together to relax. Now, if you're taking a walk, please keep your eyes open. For the rest of you, a seated position is probably going to be the safest. Standing up can, with your eyes closed, you can get kind of dizzy. So go ahead and get comfortable. Sit down in a way that makes you feel really comfortable. And I ask for just these few moments that you give me your trust. And you just for now let go and see what happens. So go ahead and sit down and let your eyes close. Take a breath that is deep for you. Just breathe in, breathe out when you're ready, and keep breathing and feel the seat or the floor beneath your bottom, beneath your feet. Feel the solidity holding you up, supporting you. Take a breath. There is no wrong here. You can follow along with the visualizations. Some of you will see what I'm saying. Some of you won't. It doesn't matter. You may let your mind wander along its own gentle journey or simply relax into the sound of my voice. Take a breath. Hashki venu Adonai Elohenu le shalom. Infinite one, lay us down in peace. Imagine yourself on a beach. It could be next to an ocean, on a lake, on the bank of a river. If you're an ocean person, listen for the sound of the waves washing up on the shore. Washing up on the shore. If you're a lake person, notice the gentle lapping, lapping, lapping of the water. Those of you next to a river or stream, hear the water gently tumble and laugh over rock. Take a breath. Hashki venu Adonai Elohenu le shalom. Infinite one, lay us down in peace. Ooh. The waters were choppy getting here. This island in time, this place of peace. Some of us weathered storms. Our boats leaked. Some of us were seasick, homesick, weary. Some of us may have even despaired. Hashki venu Adonai Eloheinu le shalom, infinite one, lay us down in peace. But you're here now. We are here now. Let yourself rest and relax into the sand or the scrub or the grass in which you now sit. Lie. Feel the peace of the moment. Know for just this moment that you are held, protected, sheltered by the wings of a divine energy. Here, in this time, and this space, you are safe. The nameless one, the 
infinite one, the Shekhinah, guards and protects you, loves you fiercely, holds you gently. Ashki venu Adonai Eloheinu leshalom, infinite one. Let us lie down in peace. Let us lie down in peace and rise up again renewed. Let us rise up again with a renewed sense of faith, a renewed sense of hope, a renewed sense of peace. Ashki venu Adonai Eloheinu leshalom. Ha'amidenu shomrenu lechaim. Ufros alenu sukat shlomecha. Know, know that this place, this island in time and space is yours. It is accessible to you at any time. Take a breath. For now, I ask you to start to become aware of my voice. Begin to feel the world around you again, feeling the seat or the floor beneath your bottom and feet. Breathe. Hear my voice. Gently move fingers and toes. Physical sense returning, returning. Breathe. And as you feel ready, allow yourself to fully re-inhabit your body. Re-inhabit this time and this space, this island of Shabbat that we share together. Take one more breath that is deep for you. Get ready to open your eyes once more. Ashkivenu Adonai Eloheinu Shalom. Ve'imeru, and let us say, Amen. need to kind of shake out your arms and your legs, your hands. Sometimes when you're sitting there, you get all jittery.
we prepare for our moment of remembrance, we especially remember the victims of Pittsburgh before we enter that space and share a prayer for Tree of Life written by Alden Salovey. He wrote it two years ago. Tree of Life, revive our souls, enrich our days, entreating your blessings, O God of peace, fill our hearts with comfort, and letting your Torah shine in the fullness of our love. Faith in you, O God, eternal source of blessings, praying for healing in the depth of despair, thanking God for the survivors, Thanking God for the first responders, sorrow crushing our hearts, bereaved beyond belief, united in our love, returning to you in faith. God of Israel, healer of generations, tree of life, redeemer of Israel. And live in this moment with healing and live in this moment with hope. O rock of Israel, Forget not the Jews of Pittsburgh. Let your love flow in the days ahead for justice and peace everlasting. Page 577. Adonai will guard you from all harm. Adonai will guard your life. Adonai will guard you going and coming, now and forever. On this Shabbat, we remember the victims of the shooting of Tree of Life Synagogue in Pittsburgh. Joyce Feinberg, Richard Gottfried, Rose Malinger, Jerry Rabinowitz, Cecil and David Rosenthal, Bernice and Sylvan Simon, Daniel Stein, Melvin Wax, and Irving Younger. And on this Shabbat, we remember the following yard sites of members of our congregation. Ben Edelbaum, Edelman, Edelbaum, Abe Fleck here, Sonia Gandal, Maurice J. Gould, Harry Hamovitz, Gregory Hobson, Bernard M. Krishavert, 
Neil Metzler, Irvin Meyer, Joseph Optiken, Rachel Patel, Jeff Raymond, Fanny Rittmaster, Arthur Rovick, Sandra Schaefer, Valerie Sickle, Adam Zach, Edith Zucker, Zichronam Livracha, may the memories be for a blessing. On page 598, together we join in Kaddish Yatom, the mourners Kaddish. It gadal ve it kadash shemei rabba be alma divra chirute ve amlich mal chute be chayechon uve mechon uve chaye de chol beit Israel ba agala uvizman kariv vimbu amen. Yehe shemei rabba mevarach lialam ulialeme alemaya it barach ve ishtabach ve it faar ve it romam ve it nase ve it adar ve it ale ve it halal shmei de kudusha uichu. לאלה מן כל ברכתה ושירתה, תושבחתה ונחמתה, דאמירם דלמה ואמרו אמן. יהי שלמה רבה מן שמיה וחיים עלינו ועל כל ישראל ואמרו אמן. עושה שלום במרומה, הוא יעשה שלום עלינו ועל כל ישראל ואמרו אמן. all of you before we part. Announcements, announcements, announcements. announcements. We would <laughs> like to thank everybody who's joined us from our area and from around the world. Special thanks to Leslie Zucker and Howard Pittler for the music and to our team of digital docents and technical team for all their work and dedication behind the scenes. Join us tomorrow morning for Sichat Shabbat at 9 a.m. on Zoom. The link is in the e-news that you received this morning. Our next Shabbat uh, evening, um, some morning service is tomorrow at 10.30 a.m. <laughs> on Facebook Live or our virtual sanctuary. The vacation on our metaphorical island will continue on our virtual Oneg following tonight's service. We will come together for Kiddush and Amotzi and then share our own dream destinations. The clickable Zoom link is in the e-news sent out this morning. Uh, the Melton class that I'm teaching begins next week is about uh, the documents found in the Cairo Geniza. It's mostly medieval history things. Uh, and I hope you uh, have uh, time to join us on our journey. It's going to be a different journey. It will begin next week. Oh, two, no, next week. Thursday, yeah. November 5th. It's, it's next crazy week. that it's next week, isn't Gosh, it? November. <laughs> what happened to October? <laughs> I don't know. I wasn't there. It's at 6.30 <laughs> uh, and it lasts 10 weeks and it's on Zoom. Our next lunch with the rabbi is two weeks away. Check our Facebook event or call the office for more information. It's going to be on November 12th at noon on the Zoom. And the next midweek song session is actually this coming Wednesday, November 4th at 7 o'clock on Facebook Live in the Virtual Sanctuary. And then we do want to bring your attention in 5781, which we are now in, we are continuing to pray for our loved ones and for ourselves as we rebuild re and recreate our Mishaberach list. So if you would like a loved one's name on the Congregational Mishaberach list, Please call the office or email Alyssa and include the subject line, Mi Shiberach list, so that we know that that's what you want. Thank you very much. Oh, yeah. Shabbat Shalom and stay Shabbat healthy. Shabbat Shalom. <laughs> stay healthy, everybody. <laughs> On page 649, we join together in singing Filat HaDerech. It's the, the journey of Abraham and it's yes. our journeys to those uh, islands in time so it's all about our journey together on this Shabbat so and if you let's, listen let's to the lyrics journey. you'll you'll notice the themes but what the, happens if I wanted to sing Lechi Lach if you wanted to sing Lechi Lach you would come tomorrow morning service at 10 30 there you go that will be our closing song tomorrow there you go I'm sorry I interrupted you that's okay Blessed as we go on our way, may we be guided in peace, may we be blessed with health and joy, may this be our
your blessing. Amen. Everybody knows these words. Amen. Amen. May this be our blessing. Amen. 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 May this be our blessing. By the wings of peace, may we be kept in safety and in love. May grace and compassion find their way to every soul. May this be our blessing. Amen. Shalom, everybody. Take care of each other out there.